Um, hi guys, so I just thought I'd make a quick video to explain um, my latest Samco test sketch. Uh, this will be a sketch that will um, hopefully help you guys test your light gun is uh, all set up correctly um, before you upload the, the final Samco sketch. Uh, and basically what it'll do is it'll test all your buttons um, and then it'll show you what your uh, infrared camera is actually seeing. Um, so basically how I've done it is I've just taken um, the DF Robots sketch from their website um, and just adapted it a little bit to um, work how I needed it to basically. Um, so yeah, there's a Arduino sketch and a processing sketch. Um, so you'll need to get this program called Processing. Um, I'll leave a link to this below. Um, but you simply just need to download this, um, pick the system you're working on, and I'll show you how to set that up in a sec. Um, and then you'll also need the uh, latest GitHub files, um, which have the test sketch in it. Um, so once you have those, um, I've just extracted them here into my downloads folder. Um, so this is the processing file. Um, you can run this directly from here if you like, but I'm just gonna drop it on my desktop. Um, and I suggest just opening up uh, processing first um, and then it'll go through all the settings and make sure that um, you can easily open your processor files. Um, so once it's opened up, you can that's all set up now, so we can simply just close that. Uh, and the next thing we need to do is copy our new uh, light gun code into our libraries. Um, so just grab this folder here, copy that, and then we want to go into Documents, Arduino, Libraries, and I'm just gonna paste mine directly over top of my current uh, Samco code. Um, that just means we have all the latest uh, files and libraries and all that stuff. Um, you'll also notice here, um, I've just cleaned this up a little bit. So um, I just had two files, one for RetroPie and one for Windows. Um, both of them work with um, foot just foot switch is attached to the alt pin now um, so if you saw the old foot pedal code in there um, it works perfectly with both of these so that's fine um, basically the only difference between the RetroPie and the Windows code is when you pause your light gun in RetroPie uh, it'll center the light gun um, this just makes it easier to exit MAME um, whereas in the window when you pause the light gun, um, it'll release the mouse so you can start using your mouse again and just makes it easier for uh, loading up your next game or whatever. Um, and then also we've got our new processing sketch um, and our test sketch as well. Um, so the first thing we want to do uh, is upload our test sketch. So we'll just open this folder here, open up our Arduino IDE. Uh, once that's loaded, um, we can see all our code here. Um, it's simply just going to give us the raw values of the light gun um, and triggers uh, for our buttons. Um, so we just make sure we have our right board, we're on our right port, and then we can upload. Great, so once we've all uploaded, we can close uh, our Arduino IDE and then go into our processing sketch, uh, load up our processing sketch. Um, and then here's all our code for this. Um, and then we simply go up to the little play button in the top left hand corner. Click run and this will load up our sketch. Um, so here we can uh, test all our buttons. Um, so they'll flash up black if they're working. Um, I've got my foot switch on my alt pin so I can also test that. Um, and then we can test what our camera actually sees. So this is the setup you're hopefully going to get. Um, two dots, green on the left, red on the light, horizontal across. Um, if it looks something like this, that means your camera is 
tilted. Um, there was some reports that some of the cameras were labelled incorrectly. Um, if that's the case, you can simply open up your gun, twist your camera 90 degrees and then try again uh, until you get uh, this result. Um, another thing you want to look out for is you don't want any other um, IR, IR interference. So I've just introduced an extra IR light here. Um, this could come from something like um, a window behind your computer um, or the reflection of the sun. Um, so as you can see, that's going to throw off uh, uh, your calibration. Um, so you definitely don't want that. Um, you can also check, basically you need to see both these um, IR points at any time. So if you point to all corners of the screen um, and you lose any of those lights, it just means that you have to be a bit further back uh, from your screen to actually use it. Um, I recommend about two and a half screen widths. Um, seems to be optimal. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, found this helpful. Um, if you did, please subscribe, give us a like, all that jazz. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.